Right, guys, welcome to uh, one more uh, session of uh, your entertainment today. I'll show you how to create a, a resource group under the new Microsoft portal. Oh, I see already logged up. Resource group, okay. So click on add here. All right, so it will bring up a new template which uh, and then it, it will asking for the resource group name and the subscription and the resource group location. Based upon the location, you can see the US, Asia, Japan, or Canada, or Brazil. So, uh, I like give as a, my first resource group and like to select as a west here and i can also select as a pin to dashboard so it will show um you know under my dashboard here so it's creating and you can see the notification it also listed here successfully so let's see what exactly we have under the resource group settings so we have subscription name the deployment the subscription id the location and currently we don't have anything so it is not showing any uh, items here okay so what can we add under a resource group? okay so i click on add and i let i would like to see what it is listing here so you can see it's where you can add resources and group them okay so uh, I would like to do one thing so I would like to just add uh, a virtual machine under my resource group first of all I would like to create a, a cloud service so let's see a cloud service and a cloud connector okay for cloud service so I would like to add a cloud service Okay, under my resource group. So I'll click on create. It's creating a, a cloud service now. It's asking for the DNS name. So what I'll do would like to give is I would like to give as first my first resource group dot cloud app dot net. So same as my uh, the resource group. And we'll select the free subscription and the resource group create a new one or use existing so I would like to use an existing one and uh, the location should be the same as uh, what we create so it should be a West US um, it says because this is a test subscription so um, we'll select a, um, East Asia no North Central no Sometimes you have to, um, okay, you have to select the right option, okay, and uh, the package, which one is the storage account, currently we don't have a storage account, so we have to create a storage account, okay, background, so um, let's configure a storage account. Use it. Okay, and uh, would like to. So it's creating a cloud service now. Okay, so you can see initializing deployment, and it's showing here under the uh, the dashboard here. So what we're gonna so we have, what we have done is we created a cloud service. The next thing we'll do is we'll create a then uh, we'll create a virtual machine under the resource group. Okay. So it says deploying uh, cloud service. So um, right, so uh, successfully it, it got deployed. So uh, it's showing as uh, my uh, first resource. Okay. And 
and um, go to the resource groups here I see one resource group listed here okay click on resource group so it's showing see under items the cloud service just know what we created okay now the next thing I'll do is I will add would like to add a, a network okay virtual network or a vnet so uh, virtual network select the deployment motor it's asking and I'll select the uh, resource manager or a classic shall so go for the resource manager so I have to give uh, a virtual uh, network name here my first resource my first So I can change the series to uh, from uh, 10 to 172 or 192. Depending. And here, make sure that you're selecting the uh, existing resource group here and the location by default. So pin to dashboard. Okay, click on create. So it got created and it. And let's see once it's got deployed it should list under our resource group still uh, deploying yeah it's gonna take a couple of minutes so let's wait so the next thing we're going to do is create a virtual machine and we will add uh, the uh, the same we'll use the same cloud service that we created and the virtual network okay and also we will also create a storage account and also add to the same resource group okay and let's see how that that goes so uh, okay so my first virtual network that's what we created it's showing uh, the location subscription id the address space the dns okay and uh, so this is the basic information so i'll go back to the resource groups i'll see uh, my first resource group and under my first resource group now i'll see uh, the cloud service and the virtual network that we created just now okay and now the next thing i would like to add is a storage account so i'll go back to the uh, type storage here okay so click on uh, storage account we'll go for the um, uh, so standard create storage account and it's still um, creating all right so uh, it's asking for uh, the name my first storage account resource manager uh, something wrong My first storage account one general purpose of the blob storage it should be a I mean, standard or a premium we'll go for the standard not a premium one okay and uh, Make sure you're selecting the existing uh, resource group and the location. Pin to dashboard, click on create. It's validating. It will take a, a couple of minutes to create and deploy the storage account. So uh, we created a um, uh, virtual network, we created a cloud service. Now we are creating a storage account Okay, under a resource group. Okay, the next, the final step is we'll create a, we'll spin up a virtual machine using all these resources under a resource group. Okay, so uh, you can, I mean, it clearly shows that the storage, uh, I mean, the resource group is nothing but you can uh, collectively maintain group of resources. It can be anything related uh, to any Azure workload. All right, so because these are all various workloads 
that we created under a particular resource group. So currently it's, uh, it's deploying storage account. Okay. All right, so um, it got successfully deployed. So, so the storage account, it got uh, the same, the resource group name, the uh, whether it's a standard or the premium, the replication, and the status, location, subscription name, and the ID. Okay, I'll go back to the resource groups here. Select the one we created now. We can see we have three uh, resources listed or the workload, the cloud service, the virtual network, and the storage account. Now, I would like to create a virtual machine. So, um, or what we can do is we can go back here to the virtual machines here, click on add. All right, and click on Windows Server. There's a basic one. We'll select Windows R2 or Windows 2 the Control Data Center, whatever. So I'll go for the resource manager. Click on Create. So uh, it's asking for the basic configuration settings here. Okay. So uh, my first virtual machine. The username is asking. Of course, administrator. I don't. I don't think it will. So what I'm gonna do is web forked here and uh, type the password and confirm the password. My first VM001. Uh, so here, while creating, you have to select the use existing resource group, the one we created. So all the resources under that first resource group will be used to spin up my first virtual machine. Okay. Click on OK. Now it's using your storage account. You're using the VNet. It's using the cloud service. Okay, and it's asking uh, to select which one you want to use. I want to go for the basic one, A1 standard. So uh, with the um, so click on select, and um, so see uh, since we already selected the uh, this the resource group one, so storage account it already. Um, uh, selected the existing one what we created before even the virtual network okay and um, so click on okay here so it gives the uh, the final uh, validation uh, this thing the subscription the resource group name the location the computer name and you can see uh, the storage account the virtual network okay and so um, click on okay so it is submitting for deployment and after that, within a couple of minutes, it will be up and running. So uh, this is the standard procedure uh, to spin up a VM, even in for the customer. So, you know, you have to ensure you have all the uh, relevant information gathered that is called uh, uh, environment assessment. Okay, or data uh, assessment or information gathering, like uh, how much storage, I mean, the, the storage account or the, the virtual network information and the cloud service information, the server name, the IP address range, and all these. Okay. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. I'm just waiting here. And if I click on here, showing it showing uh, deploying.
Look at the information it's giving. Virtual machine name, size, username, storage account, virtual network name, network interface name, admin password, storage account, and uh, public address name. Hmm. Go back to the resource groups here, click on the one we created. So, so you look at uh, what are the various services we have. We have cloud service, virtual machine, network interface that was newly created, network security group that was created along with the, uh, the VM and the public IP address. Uh, it also listed here, virtual network we created, storage account we created. So these are all various, uh, you know, workloads you will be having under a resource group. Okay. So this is the basic information, guys, uh, you should know. And uh, if I click on virtual machines, our new virtual machine will be listed here. So um, the same information will be showing here. Yeah, it, it's still uh, creating, so um, it's going to take some time. See the same information it will show here. Uh, the resource group, the name, operating system, the size, and everything. So in, in later sessions, I will show you how to uh, upgrade the existing uh, uh, server configuration and how to reset okay, the existing admin password and everything. All right. So uh, that's it, guys, so about the resource groups. So uh, you can also try creating your uh, own uh, resource group and you can uh, uh, work on it. So thank you so much for watching and uh, have a nice day.